Welcome to Ward System Test 4, requested by A Town 4018, featuring the Firelight MS 5UD Fire Alarm System. So let's go ahead and get started. For our first notification appliance, we have the Weok RSS 241575W, and this device is set on fixed 1575 Candela. We still have the system set there, CO 1224T carbon dioxide detector. Above the carbon dioxide detector, I have swapped out the smoke detector. I have swapped it out with a system center 2400. For our second notification appliance, we have a Wheelock AS241575W. This device has been doing continuous and is set on fixed 1575 Candela. Fun fact about this device, this device actually came from a school when the fire alarm system was being upgraded. Still the Firelight A980 Annunciator, nothing has changed with that. Still the System Center RTS2 key test switch, which connects to my duct detector. Below the test switch, we have two pull stations. Both of them are the same. On the left, we have a Firelight BG10, and on the right, we have a Firelight BG10. The requester of this system test wanted both of these pull stations used, so that's what I'll be doing today. Now, something is a little different about both pull stations. So, this is actually the first BG10 I got. And this is the second one that I recently got, like a few months ago. So what's actually special about this BG-10 is this was my first ever pull station, which is pretty cool. Um, I hooked it up. I had it hooked up to a uh, system sensor horn for the longest time. And then obviously things change and I changed my systems. Uh, but it's pretty cool, you know, knowing that this was my first ever pull station I ever had in my fire alarm collection. Now, here's the thing. I used to have an old hex lock that used to go in here. Now, unfortunately it broke and obviously you guys probably know with the recall, um, that, you know, these pull stations were discontinued. They were recalled because of the issues. So I just put a screw in it. Again, not really up to code, but because this is a demo system, I figured why just throw it out if I can continue to use it. This one technically does have the correct hex screw, if you say. Um, so this is the correct one. Um, but you know, I had to make a slight modification to the other one, but, um, you do what you have to do. Now moving down, we still have the duct detector, my system sensor D4120 duct detector, and we will not be activating this in today's test. All right, to start off today's test, I'm going to pull the BG-10 on the right. Here we go. Three, two, one. continue to flash because we have audible silence. For our next activation, I'm going to activate the system sensor 2400 by just spraying some smoke. Here we go. Should be enough. Should go off any second now. Come on. There we go.
five is silent. All right, I will now go ahead and reset the pull station. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to insert my screwdriver, begin turning the screw. All right, reset the station. Here we go. Now I'm going to close this back into place. And just gonna put my screw back in. All right. And I'm just gonna start tightening it up. Obviously, like I mentioned before, the strobes will continue to flash. System does have audible sounds. All right. Now I'm gonna hit system reset. All right, to finish off today's test, I'm going to pull the BD-10 on the left. Here we go. In three, two, one. Alright, and the alarm is silent. Alright, so, so to reset this pull station, I'm going to use my Allen key. I'm going to begin turning it. Usually, like I mentioned before, all these BG10s will have a hex key reset like this. Um, they will not have a screw in them. If it comes to that point, obviously you'll replace this pull station at that point, realistically. There's the inside. There is a warning in there. It says excessive tightening of Allen head screw. The back play could cause undetectable housing fracture resulting in a false alarm. Um, that was something that they were talking about in the recall of these pull stations. Not gonna go into the recall in this video, but there is a video online about it. So, or on YouTube, I should say, at one point there was a video. All right. All right. Let's tighten back into place and reset. Obviously, the strobes do continue to flash. Like I said, all will silence. All right. And we're going to hit system reset. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video. And would like to thank A Town 4018 for requesting a system test. As a reminder, if you would like to request your system test, all you have to do is go to my website, Fire Alarm 33, and search in the search engine on my website, Request System Test. There you will find the collection list, my YouTube video explaining the Request System Test series, and the Request System Test form. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.